So difference, big differences between male and female. Females are born with all of their egg supply. That has to last them till they're menopausal. Males have the opportunity to make their germ cells, you know, our little cells that, that create people eventually, you know, every day. So they're constantly, a little factory is creating new ones. We're born with all of them. They start deteriorating for even in the utero. So at five months gestation, you have your max amount of eggs. You're born with about one to two million on average. So then you start ovulating. We lose about 11,000 a month through the ovulation process. And by the time you're 30, the average woman is down to 10% of her egg supply that she had at birth. And by the time she's 40, she's down to 3%. Menopause represents no more eggs. You're done. You have exhausted that supply, and there will be no more estradiol produced in any clinically significant form from the ovaries. And estradiol, you just is mentioned. Is the main hormone, the main estrogen hormone that is produced by the ovaries, and it's the most biologically active estrogen hormone in our bodies. So it is the one really responsible for keeping our inflammation levels down, you know, supporting our reproductive function, et cetera. Basically, at the point that you lose your last egg, then your ovaries say, right, I'm done. I'm not producing any more of this mm -hmm. estradiol. That's it. And when you were talking about estrogen receptors, the estradiol is a form of this, this estrogen. So suddenly, like, it's done. Every other part of your body is like, hang on a minute. I was used to this my entire life. That's sort of what I was based Genetically on. Genetically programmed to, yeah, utilize. And it's utilize. just suddenly, <laughs> um, it's cut out. But I think you were saying, Sarah, that actually... It's not as simple as it just stops. This is your perimenopause right. where it's you have this, this chaotic up transition. And down and this so perimenopause is when that chaos begins. You know, you kind of have this very easy to track EKG of hormone changes in your monthly cycles. And, and the end result of that is your period. Okay. So your uterus is just an organ that does what the hormones tell it to do build up a blood supply for a potential pregnancy, then shed it so we can start fresh the next month. And with that, for a healthy woman, comes a very predictable set of hormone changes, a surge of estrogen mid-cycle that ties to our ovulation when the egg is released. And then the second half of the cycle, we have a surge in progesterone. And then that progesterone falls, and we start the whole process over again. In perimenopause, we start to see these very dramatic um, ups and downs rather than this nice EKG because our, our levels of egg supply are dropping so low. Meaning just to make sure I got it, rather than like a nice smooth up and right. down curve over like roughly four weeks or whatever it mm -hmm. is, um, suddenly you're saying it's sort of jumping all over. 